Hello my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we're ready to jump in and clarify your speed shuffled reading. We have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is Aries energy. Let's see why the Two of Wands is here. It does speak to the fact, Taurus, that you are at a crossroads in your love life as a couple or individual. Oh, I like it. The Ace of Coins. Very nice energy, a new beginning that can represent a diamond ring uh, in the choices of romantic love. The strength card says you have fire in your belly, you have the courage to do it. I love the strength card, Leo energy, earth sign energy, Aries. We do have Sagittarius energy, it looks like in the recent past. There has been a turn of good luck. The timing has been right in love for you. So tell us more, Spirit, about that energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Why is it here for us? Tell us more. The Hanged Man, trying to figure out when the timing is right to make this decision to move forward. Why else? Let's see. The Hanged Man is looking at things from a different perspective. Hanged Man is Pisces energy. Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy. We see the Spirit of Cups, the King of Cups energy is very strong here. It looks like both of you feel a tremendous amount of love for one another. It, I love the King of Cups energy for you because it speaks well, Taurus, of your ability to love very deeply. That's your seventh house, Scorpio, on the astrology wheel. And so it really speaks to the fact that you are looking at possible long-term commitment, that your love and your partner's love for you is very deep. The Ace of Coins is a current energy that is the offer that's being made. There is something going on with this that's a little weird, okay? So we have the energy of the Five of Swords. So it looks like something looks a bit uncomfortable here, to say the very least. Somebody wants to win at all costs. There is somebody in this situation that is willing to, and money may be an issue in your partnership, but the Five of Swords is somebody who's feeling Four of Swords, like, well, I need to heal, you know? And we also get the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So right now I'm seeing um, this energy in your love life, Taurus, that speaks to financial concerns with a partner. You see your partner is holding back with money. We get Capricorn energy. Uh, this is Taurus energy. So when we look at this energy, your person is holding back or you feel they're holding back on money. Uh, the Empress card, though, says that you do hold this person in high regard. They hold you in high regard. Uh, they see you as a really wonderful creator, somebody who's very, um, very well to do. Like, in other words, you're a self-made person. The Empress card, something about your personality makes you abundant. Something about the way you carry yourself, how they view the situation going forward is that you're giving to them very nicely. They really like it. They appreciate it. They may not have a lot to give right now in terms of money to the relationship, but I do get the Emperor energy. So you may be dealing with an Aries. The Emperor energy says that your person is a powerful creator also along with this empress energy so your person is viewing the situation as being a temporary setback in terms of i think uh you know just financial well-being that is impacting the relationship at this time they view you taurus as someone that they want to take that leap of faith with that you're willing to take the leap of faith into the future and we have beautiful energy. I love it. Okay, exquisite, as one of my clients said here in the comments section recently when I asked for synonyms for beautiful. It is absolutely a wonderful card that speaks well to closing out a cycle of difficulty of trying to figure out what you're going to invest in the relationship because of outward concerns. And you move into this whole new cycle where the two of you are collaborating we get that three of coins in their heart space. Your person wants to have the sort of relationship, Capricorn energy, where you both work at it day to day, you know, basically Monday through Sunday. 
and the chariot card, honey, I'm home. So your person in their heart space is very grounded, very down to earth. They want something that they can taste, feel, smell, something that's very materially oriented as a, a basis or a foundation for the relationship. Throwing caution to the winds, we do see that your person is feeling a little bit kind of bored, a little bit like, well, what's next? I don't really see the Four of Cups as a terrible card, but it it does lend itself to, I think, with the Page of Wands being a bit maybe immature in how they view things going forward. They feel as though you're at a standstill, that they want to take action, they want to throw caution to the winds, but they, they feel that the timing isn't right. But you have this beautiful, it is right, you know, with that beautiful wheel of fortune. So let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Why is your person feeling that way? Oh my gosh, T twin flame card. That is the 22 in the Sacred Heart deck or the Naked Heart deck, we have a Twin Flame card, 1111. Your person wants this relationship so much because they feel as though the two of you are souls coming back together. Divine union with, the, wow. Okay, so divine union with the Emperor and Empress. So Taurus, your person's very optimistic. They feel you have, uh, that you are Twin Flames, that there is no other. The two of you look like you've hurt each other's feelings in the recent past, you know, or the ongoing energy right now. The Justice card says that you need, you both need the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You need balance. You need harmony. Uh, the two of you need to be able to communicate in a way that's a bit more balanced. What else do we have here about this Five of Cups we need to know? Well, you've both chosen each other. The Three of Wands energy is all about, um, you know, it's Aries energy. It's it's choosing, you know, you feel that the other, other in this relationship, your ship has come in, you know who you want. So that part, there's a lot that's settled here in a very good way. There's a few bumps in the road, I think, materialistically or materially in terms of the world at large right now. Spirit is recommending the Page of Swords with the death card so okay so to me taurus what spirit is saying is stop snooping online stop act you know creating any activity or any communication online interesting card it doesn't really speak to the fact taurus that you're contacting anybody else but spirit is saying basically watch out for online communications that can put an end to this relationship that you need to transform the relationship there's things that need to be worked on and online is definitely not the way you have to be careful because it would be perceived oh my goodness as a ten of swords there would be a perceived betrayal if you're talking with somebody that your person thinks is an ex. So this speaks to getting back together with somebody that you broke up with, and that would be a betrayal with the current your current love. So that's sort of interesting energy. So it could be you, it could be the other person. As all of you know, if you are looking at general readings, this is like a buffet table, take what's yours, leave the rest. But what we're seeing here is that there can be reversals. Roles can be reversed. It can be vice versa. So it could be you or your person, but your person is feeling fearful. They're definitely feeling fearful. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. When we put the Ace of Wands with the Two of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, and it's a progression. So you are progressing in the relationship. It looks like there's a bit of a standstill, and look at that, the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy, Fiery Air Sign Energy. So what we see here is two people who are choosing each other. The two of you are soulmates. Uh, with that lover's card and the card that just dropped out as another clarifier is the two of cups soulmates of the minor arcana so let's see is there one more card that we need to know about where this relationship is going as your outcome card these are uh, very very good omens of great success in your relationship we have spirit of swords okay so the king of swords energy is coming in here you know, making rational decisions, taking the facts into consideration. 
So let's see what Spirit is saying is your best course of action to get what you want from the relationship. Overall, it's a good relationship. It does look like there are some material concerns right now that are bogging or slowing down what you feel is a progress in this relationship. But those are mundane. Spirit is recommending butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Okay. So that is your best course of action. We're going to pull two more cards from this deck. Now is a lucky time. We see it here with this, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a much better time than you're giving it credit for. It looks like you're a bit bored and holding back. And Spirit is saying, don't do that. You know, go forward. We have take time out. Okay. Take time out to rest, transformation, and, you know, being really comfortable with going ahead and taking action right now okay so let's see what we have for the sacred destiny cards that are going to give you help in terms of um, the outcome and best course of action what is the best course of action for the outcome that taurus wants to get in this reading we have uh the si in silence peace prevails okay so this is all about saying, not saying things that are going to hurt your person. Don't say things that are going to create the need for an apology, okay? I don't think you would, but at any rate, it's easy in the heat of the moment. A breakthrough is at hand. Beautiful. Okay, I'm so happy for you, Taurus, that you're right on the precipice. Let's look and see what your helps and hindrances are in this relationship and then we're going to move on to what your person likes best about you taurus okay so let's see what we have helps and hindrances into me i see is a hindrance okay i mean you need to have self-reflection but it does say that that can be a help or a hindrance if you think too much about your own viewpoint so just keep that balanced Quieting the mind, good, okay. You know, stop, uh, you know, just do some meditative work. This is a this is a solid relationship reading. I really like it. You know, there's always, no, life is not perfect. So at any given moment, there's usually something going on. Willing release, okay. Releasing your worries, you know, coming into this calm state of mind looks as though that's what spirit really wants of you. The obstacles are not tremendous. The timing is right to move forward. All right, Taurus, let's see what your person likes best about you. The Seven of Wands, they see you as a person who can really stick up for yourself. There is no, nobody can get the best of you, that you tend to rise to the top like cream in the creamy picture. Picture. The Lover's Card, oh, they do see you as their soulmate. They're beloved, the person they want to spend their life with. Nice. I like that lover's card. That is seven of coins. They like the fact that you invest long term and that you're willing to do the work of the investment in the relationship. They see you as solid and grounded. Seven of coins energy is the energy of Taurus. So there you are in your reading. The Empress was also Taurus energy. So that was your energy is divine partnership. Let's see. We have King of Swords and we have the King of Swords here. We have the King of Swords and that stack. It says that your person sees you as very bright, very intellectual. At the end of the day, you will try, you will stand in truth, light, and honesty and make the right decisions, even if they have to be head over heart, Taurus. Your person, oh, they see you as their happily ever after. That is a card of pure love and harmony long term. That is a, a marriage card. We see the Hierophant. You share their basic beliefs, their outlook. You, They love the fact that you are, you know, it's a Taurus card. There you are. You're reliable. You know, you don't change. You're not, uh, you are very constant and reliable. The Magician card, they think you can do anything. And it says that you have all the tools to do or pull off whatever you want in life. You're good at it. The Knight of Swords energy, they like the fact that you're outspoken, that you're very direct, and that you speak the truth. And they love the Knight of Cups. You are a romantic. 
So Taurus, that is your reading. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Please comment. Tell me if you like the format. Tell me if it helped. And uh, tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye, Taurus.